Hey guys, Nick Signorelli back here with another video. So, I'm kind of in an outrage. Um, I'm going to get set up to do some formal videos, you know, uh, be able to post videos that I see and um, comments on it, do reactions. Just trying to get started, getting a feel, see if anybody was even going to watch. And apparently a couple of y'all have viewed my videos, so that's good. Um, Got to start somewhere. So first, let me say, let's talk about this Missouri thing. So the protesters um, went on a private property and was met by a couple holding a, a rifle. <clears throat> Um, the couple called the police. Police didn't come. Nobody came. Um, and these people were absolutely trespassing. And these people felt threatened and were out protecting their property and letting these people know they weren't going to stand for it. The same thing that happened in Bethel, Ohio. Um, Except the whole town showed up to let these people know that was trying to take down the American flag. You're not that's not a protester, you're a jackass. So let me get that out there. You come to my house and do that. Alright. You we and the police ain't gonna show up and protect you by God. You should be able to. But it doesn't end there. The prosecutor in uh, St. Louis, I believe it was. Is talking about pressing charges on these people. Are you freaking kidding me? If that happens, I hope we get uh, some protesters started on that. This is, that's an outrage. Shame on you. How dare you threaten to press charges on somebody protecting their lives, their property. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? This is what we come to? Let me guess, it, it must be some Democrats over there, right? You people are freaking ridiculous. You're insane. I mean, he didn't shoot the gun off. He didn't point it at him. He was just letting him know, I'm armed. And if you come over here and threaten my life, I will do have a firearm and I am willing to use it. And they were already breaking the law. Why aren't you prosecuting them for breaking the law? Where's the charges for that? Who force these people to go get their gun? Thank God we don't, I don't live there. That's a joke. And, uh, you know, the Democrats, by the way, have started another, another round of hearings. So, you know, you know, Mr., uh, Chandler, Chandler, whatever his name is. You know, he's just in heaven right now. Oh, I get to be the chairman again. Like, dude, are y'all ever going to do anything for our country? I can tell you one thing. I go around this town preaching against you guys. Nancy, we can't withstand four more years of Nancy Pelosi and Adam Schiff. I mean, you people are, have just drugged us through the trenches. How did y'all, how does anybody get behind you guys? I mean, seriously. You're self-righteous, selfish people who doesn't do anything for the American patriots. How do you get votes? I don't... I, you want to be a Democrat, fine. But get behind somebody that's worth a shit. I mean, really? Adam Schiff? Nancy Pelosi? Shame on you, people. I mean, what in the freaking hell, dude? Like, how do you vote on the people like that? How do you systematically go, yep, these people are going to do real good for our country. 
and they're up on the stage. This is the part I, I, that just floors me. Absolutely floors me. They've spent all these years trying to get to President Trump. And the only thing they did was show exactly how dirty they are. And how they are breaking... You know, they had this guy come in and testify. I think it was five days ago in a congressional hearing. Look it up. And he was a prosecutor um, a half a mile away but couldn't show up to the congressional hearing. So that's number one. And his subpoena clearly stated he had to show up in person. But, you know, once again, we don't follow our own rules. Um, so, you know, that's number one. Number two, they told this guy, if you're asked a question, you know, that isn't directly related to the conversation then you know give a response of you'll have to check with the office to see if we can answer the question the only problem was is that rule didn't apply when democrats were asking questions so you know and, and the questions that were asked goes, that he gave that answer to went to credibility went to you know, I, all of it's related. So, you know, I have no clue how they, you know. But, of course, it's it's a Democrat-run sham show. It's it's a joke. So, you know, you Democrats found yet another way to, pro, you know, to put a cap on the Republicans. Because I'll tell you what, uh, Jim and that other guy... Man, you can't get nothing past them two guys. That's who should be the chairman. That's what we need more of. Them guys call you out for what you are. Uh, and then one of the whistleblowers there, you know, he shouldn't. He was so biased, and they called him out on that too. And he didn't. He, he couldn't even answer the question. You, people, if you haven't seen this congressional hearing from five days ago, oh my God, we do have some good Republicans in there watching our back, you know, and, and President Trump's back. I mean, they he he couldn't even answer. <laughs> he just sat there, and finally he said, um. The Republicans said, "That's all right. You, we we already know the answer. You you know, <laughs> I, I'm not going to sit here and give you time to make take my time up while you think of another lie to come up with. It was the best. Um, you know, and and then uh, Chairman Nadler, you know, Nadler, whatever the hell his name is, just we hit. You know, they." silenced when we they tried to <clears throat> try to alliterate you know some of the rules that are you know once again just ignored parliamentary inquiries and whatnot you know just once again it, it's a complete joke so you know they're trying to dig up dirt and they bring in the dirtiest people this is the part that kills me Folks, if you're trying to get dirt on somebody and you bring in these these weak people that actually have something to hide and then you wind up bringing, bringing that out. You're bringing out your own freaking dirt. Trying to get dirt that you ain't been able to get on other people you've shown how you're willing not willing to follow the rules not willing to go with the system so you got to make up your own way you got to make up your own rules you got to make up your own lies the only problem is you expose yourself because you just won't give up and eventually eventually you're going to pay for it i can tell you one thing 
I'll make sure my votes go to the right place. It ain't gonna be for Nancy Pelosi. It ain't gonna be for Adam Schiff. It ain't gonna be for Chairman Nadler. And folks, even if you're a Democrat, y'all need, I mean, even Democrats need to wise up at this point. Are you here for America or not? I mean, these people don't give a shit about you and you're voting for them? Come on, people. You're smarter than that. Um, it's just amazing. As always, Candy, Candace Owens for president, presidency uh, 2024. Trump's going to take 2020. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.